fat burning foods do not exist. But the eight that I'm about to share with you in today's video come pretty damn close. These aren't going to melt away the belly fat by themselves, but they will keep you nice and full, feed your muscles, and also give you the nutrients you need to reach your goals a whole lot faster. So without any further ado, let's just jump straight into it. Number one is low fat Greek yogurt. This is an absolute protein powerhouse. One serving of low fat Greek yogurt contains about 20 grams of protein. Plus if it's low in fat, it essentially has zero grams of fat and also really minimal carbs. So you can literally eat an entire bowl of this for minimal calories and strictly just protein, which helps keep you nice and full and also helps support muscle recovery, making this the absolute ideal meal for people looking to maintain lean muscle mass while also losing your belly fat and what's so cool about this is that protein is actually one of the most satiating or it is the most satiating macronutrient out of all three macronutrients which obviously includes carbohydrates fats and carbs as it takes a bit longer for your body to like fully break down and digest compared to the latter two all right so to help you stay nice and full while also building up the muscle that you're looking for you guys can get creative with the toppings on this as well because i know plain low-fat greek yogurt it kind of tastes like, I don't even know how to describe the taste, but it kind of tastes like nothingness. So you can definitely swing it up by adding some kind of fruit on top, whether it's berries, apples, bananas. You can even add some like low calorie sweeteners on top too, just to add a bit more flavor to it. And if you would definitely want to step it up another notch as um, consider adding protein powder to it. So you're literally doubling up on the protein, keeping it low in calories and high in protein as well, making this an absolute no-brainer choice for those aiming to stay in a calorie deficit while staying nice and full as well. Plus, Greek yogurt is also rich in calcium, which supports bone health and probiotics that aid in digestion and boost gut health. Number two on the list is oatmeal. This used to be and still is an absolute staple and not just my diet, but in any healthy person's diet and for a good reason. I used to personally hate oatmeal because I kind of grew up kind of thinking of it as like a really thick, tasteless piece of slob, but by just simply making it tastier by adding some super simple ingredients, um, you can really easily just almost like enhance your entire oatmeal experience. And so really quickly, before we dive into the benefits of this, um, what I used to do personally is um, I did one of many things actually. So I used to sometimes make overnight oats, which is a super simple thing that you can do, especially if you're a super busy professional that's like on the go first thing in the morning and you don't wanna worry about what to eat for breakfast. What I would do the night before is I put some oatmeal into a bowl. You can do however much you want. I usually did around half a cup or one cup. Then I added some Greek yogurt as well. Um, so low fat milk or almond milk. Um, I added some pumpkin puree and then, um, yeah, protein powder or some berries on top. I'd mix it together. And then overnight, what's so cool about leaving it overnight is that it actually thickens up. Um, and then the next morning it becomes nice and thick and it's ready to just eat right away. And if you want to take it with you to work, you can also bring it with you on the go. So that is one thing I did. Um, on top of that, if you don't want to do that, and if you have the free time to just make it um, in the morning or even, even if you want to have it for dessert or nighttime, which sometimes I'd have this for dinner too, where you can just, yeah, simply make a bowl of oatmeal, add some protein powder, add some fruits, and there you go. Super delicious. You've got some healthy fats. Nut butter is also awesome. But essentially protein... A super high in fiber, specifically soluble fiber, which helps lower your cholesterol and also stabilizes your blood sugar levels. This makes it a great option for those managing hunger and also avoiding blood sugar spikes that leads to cravings later on. So this is definitely a great start to the day if you have this for breakfast. Oats are also rich in antioxidants, vitamins and minerals like magnesium and phosphorus. Pairing oatmeal with, like I said, a protein-rich topping like protein powder or Greek yogurt can also balance out the meal, making it a complete source of energy and nutrients. Number three on the list is leafy greens. These should be a staple in anyone's diet, particularly if you're trying to be in a calorie deficit, because what's so cool about this is that any green vegetable, whether it's spinach, kale, lettuce, broccoli, asparagus, you name it, are nutritional gold mines, because like I said, they're very low in calories, but they're also very high in fiber which means you can eat large portions of these foods and feel full without having to like go super overboard on the calories, right? Which is why salads, stir fries are all amazing options. If you have a really kind of like big appetite like myself, um, while kind of still keeping the calories nice and low, right? When I did my bodybuilding show in 2021, I literally lived of these foods and they were 
huge staple in my diet, right? Because I could eat an entire salad, add some chicken breast on top, and that'd be two, 300 calories, add some low calorie Italian seasoning. And that was a really, really filling meal without having to overdo it on the calories, right? So if you are a big eater like myself, these are a no brainer and you should definitely incorporate these into your diet. Even if you're trying to gain muscle, these should definitely still be part of your regular diet because they're also packed with essential vitamins like vitamin A, C, and K, as well as minerals like iron, calcium, and magnesium. Green vegetables also contain antioxidants, which can help fight against inflammation and also support overall health, making them a must-have in any diet plan focused especially on fat loss and well-being. But even if you're trying to bulk up and gain muscle, do not sleep on your greens. Number four on the list is poultry, specifically chicken and turkey. Chicken breast and Turkey breasts are the leanest cuts of the meat um, because if you opt for, let's say, chicken drumsticks or you opt for chicken thighs or anything like that, especially with the skin on as well, they tend to be higher in fat because they're like the fattier portion of the meat. And um, yeah, so make sure that you choose the breast variation as opposed to the other variations. You may notice that the fattier cuts of the meat are a bit cheaper. Um, whereas the leaner cuts of the meats tend to be a bit more expensive, but they're definitely a lot leaner and also helping you keep the calories a bit lower while still being super high in protein. So both chicken and turkey, um, like I said, the breast variation are lean sources of high quality protein, providing all nine essential amino acids that your body cannot produce on its own, which is really important because these are the building blocks of protein to ensure that you're building the muscle that you're looking for. Protein is crucial for muscle repair and growth, like I said at the beginning, which becomes even more important when you're losing fat and trying to preserve your lean muscle mass. I see a lot of people make this mistake when they're trying to like lose body fat where they don't keep their protein intake nice and high because you're literally shooting yourself in the foot. Because like I said, protein is super satiating, meaning that it keeps you fuller for longer. So that is already an automatic win in my eyes when it comes to weight loss, because when we're in a calorie deficit, naturally we tend to just be hungrier. And the way that we can kind of combat our hunger is by keeping our protein intake nice and high. And number two, most importantly as well, it actually helps preserve muscle mass because if we go in a calorie deficit, which means reading less calories than we burn on a daily basis, we're already at a huge risk of muscle loss and we're just putting ourselves in a deeper, deeper hole and we're also slashing our protein intake as well. So we got to ensure that despite being in a calorie deficit, that we're keeping our protein intake nice and high, not just due to its satiating effects, but then also to preserve, if not build up some muscle during this process as well. So poultry is also rich in vitamin B, which helps convert food into energy and also supports your metabolism. Since chicken and turkey are versatile and relatively low in fat, they fit seamlessly into a variety of meal plans, especially if you're trying to lose weight. Number five on the list is fish, another great source of protein, especially the cold water fatty fish like salmon, sardines, and mackerel. They are absolutely loaded with omega-3 omega fatty ashes. <laughs> Fatty acids. Omega-3s are also known for their heart's health benefits, um, but they also play a role in reducing inflammation, improving your brain function too, and even aiding in fat metabolism. These fatty fish are also rich in protein, like I said, selenium and vitamin D, which support bone health, immunity, and metabolic function. Like, these are awesome, especially salmon. Like, if I can, I try to have salmon um, once a week, but I notice that salmon is pretty expensive, especially where I live. And so if you find yourself in a situation where you don't have access to some of these fatty fish or just outside of your budget, I would highly advise you to supplement in an omega-3 fatty acid supplement. I get all of my supplements from my protein. They're super affordable, especially if you use my discount code Conan at checkout. You can get up to 40% off your entire order. So if you guys want the link to that, um, put it in the comments down below and I'll send it your way. But yeah, that's where I get most of my supplements from. And that's also where um, I supplement with this specific supplement because despite their amazing benefits, they are pretty expensive and it's not like a thing that I have on a regular basis. I try to have it once a week, but sometimes I do kind of lack on that. So having that supplement um, just ensures that you're kind of like covering all the bases to ensure that, yeah, you're still getting all these amazing, amazing benefits from that. Lean fish as well, like cod or tilapia, are also excellent lower calorie options that still pack a significant protein pouch while also keeping the fat a bit lower because salmon definitely is high in protein, but it's also pretty high in fat. So if you want something a bit lower in fat, 
These are some great options too. On top of that, shellfish like shrimp and mussels are also just like cod and tilapia, super low in fat and high in protein. Number six on the list are lentils. These are a great plant-based protein source, making them perfect for vegetarian, vegans, or anyone looking to reduce their meat consumption. On top of that, they're also super rich in fiber. And I mean like really rich in fiber with about 50 grams per cup, which helps regulate digestion and also keeps you fuller for longer and also more regular when it comes to going to the bathroom, which I mean, who doesn't want to be more regular, right? Lentils also contain a variety of essential vitamins and minerals, including folates, iron, and magnesium. And now here's a pro tip for you guys. The iron in lentils, although plant-based, is more easily absorbed when consumed with vitamin C rich foods like tomatoes and bell peppers. So if you do want to have lentils, try to pair this with a vitamin C rich food um, to ensure that you're absorbing all of the vitamins and minerals found in this food. So including lentils in your diet can help balance blood sugar levels, which can also be beneficial for weight management and energy stabilization. Number seven on the list is fruits, specifically berries. I won't say all fruits because some fruits tend to be a bit higher in calories and sugars, whereas berries specifically are awesome. Berries are nutrient dense and also high in fiber, making them a great option for curbing hunger between meals and also satisfying your sweet tooth because strawberries, especially they're arguably one of my i would say top three fruits because especially in the summertime they're super ripe super sweet and super delicious berries like blueberries strawberries raspberries and blackberries are also low in calories but high in antioxidants as well which helps protect against and oxidative stress and also improves your brain function berries are also super hydrating adding to their fullness factor as well so Um, I typically like to grab these in a frozen variation because you can grab these year round. You don't have to wait for the summertime when they're like in season. You can grab these year round, even in winter too. And what's so cool about not just frozen berries, but any type of frozen, whether it's a vegetable or fruit, is that they actually get picked at peak ripeness. So even if you do get fresh berries, you don't have to wait for them to kind of like get nice and ripe because all the frozen variations are already picked um, or picked at peak ripeness, which is awesome. Plus, they last a lot longer in your freezer as well, as opposed to storing them in your fridge when the shelf life is around a week or so, right? So I like to always opt for frozen variations, and they tend to be cheaper as well. And then the last one on the list are potatoes. These are amazing when done properly, obviously. So there's, despite their bad reputation in some diets, potatoes, especially the russet potatoes, there's different types of potatoes. Rusted especially are super nutrient dense and also really versatile. They are rich in complex carbohydrates that provide a steady source of energy, fiber that supports gut health, and vitamin C, which is essential for immunity and collagen production. Potatoes also contain potassium, a mineral important for regulating blood pressure. Now, it's really important for you to prepare them in a healthy way because obviously when you think of potatoes, you may be thinking of French fries from McDonald's or baked potatoes with a bunch of butter slapped on top of it. That is obviously when you add a whole lot of calories due to the added fats and butters. So try to prepare them in a healthy way, such as boiling them, which is my preferred way of doing it. Sometimes if I'm lazy, I'll just microwave them as well. Or if you want to bake them or roast them, that's also totally fine. Just make sure that you don't slab them with a bunch of olive oil because again, that can pack a punch in terms of the calories so make sure you stay on top of that Um, but when done properly they are super filling and provide sustained energy making them a great option for active people especially if you have a big appetite so that is my top eight list of foods that again are not fat burning foods although they make fat loss a whole lot easier and i guarantee you if you fill your diet with these foods which by the way you probably noticed these are whole natural single ingredient foods these are not processed foods these are just foods come from the ground or foods that have a face on them that are actually meant to be eaten and you may notice that if you focus your diet around these types of foods that only have one ingredient in them that they're actually super super healthy they're high in fiber they're high in protein and they ensure that you're just not as hungry all the time and actually give you the vitamins minerals and the nutrients that you need to just be a functioning human being, right? So again, these foods are going to burn directly fat off your body, but they're going to help you stay full and fuel your progress. And now if you want to reach your goals a whole lot faster, you can go ahead and book a free consultation call with me today. And together we'll customize a plan that works for you specifically. So if you don't like certain foods on this list, we can definitely substitute some of them out to ensure that you're still making progress without making all these crazy sacrifices. The link is in the description down below. And if you guys do have any specific questions for me, please add them down below and I'll see y'all soon.